Hello everyone, welcome to GoTerran TV. I'm Taryn, the traveling trainer of GoTerran Personal Training here in the greater Atlanta area, about to welcome back yet another returning guest on to GoTerran TV, Mr. Roger Scott of Roger Scott Fitness. Now before Roger comes on here, I'd like to invite everyone out there to please make sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel link at the bottom of your screen. And while you're watching today's video podcast interview, if you'd please be so kind also to like the video, leave us a comment, and share it with all of your friends and family. Now, as you know, Roger Scott has been on here before. We're going to talk about what he's doing with fitness. When he came out, also, he had guest spoken with his guest lecturing at Georgia State University for our Principles of Physical Activity Fitness class. And so we're going to talk about that and some of the programs that he does and just catch up with everything that he's doing here in Atlanta, Georgia, for you and for all of his clients. And remember, Go Turn Personal Training is your time, your investment, and your life. We'll be right back with Roger Scott Fitness. All right, welcome back, everybody. As you can see side by side, we have uh, another returning guest back on GoTerran TV, Mr. Roger Scott. Roger, how are you doing out there? Super duper. <laughs> Great to see you. Uh, you are uh, just uh, so enthusiastic, and uh, we're always excited to have you here. Um, for the folks who um, know, uh, Roger came out uh, last week to guest speak and guest lecture at Georgia State University. And uh, Roger, the students loved you. I thought you did a phenomenal job, and uh, you were just awesome. Uh, you missed your calling. You should be a teacher. Yeah, I don't know about that. <laughs> uh, you, you were able. That was a fun class. <laughs> It was fun, and for the uh, people out there, so they know, it's uh, Principles of Physical Activity and Fitness, uh, <laughs> I can't talk, Fitness, at Georgia State University, and um, they, they, you had them very engaged, and um, they were listening and paying attention, and um, especially so early in the morning at 8 o'clock. I'm impressed. Yeah. I was expecting, you know, like the paper airplanes to come through, like, oh, we got like a <laughs> I know I would have done that. So. <laughs> yeah, we were yeah. afraid of a spitball maybe hitting us, too. <laughs> That's right. You have you have them well behaved, man. They they're, they were really inquisitive. They were really um they had really good questions. I, actually, um, I wouldn't have mind just having a Q and A. They were just <laughs> loading it up, and I was like, oh, nice. They helped kept kept me on uh, track there. So I like that. It yeah, was fun. A lot of it, you know, what I was going to talk to you today was uh, some of the Q&A that they had asked you about. You know, uh, I thought it was really cool for the, uh, again, benefit of people um, who missed it, uh, weren't there. But uh, Roger basically kind of told uh, his story of how he got into fitness, um, starting out with a bachelor's degree with uh, business if, administration, if I'm not uh, mistaken, with a minor, uh, emphasis in marketing. Is that right, Roger? Yes. Well, actually, I am. Um... I started at um, the Georgia Perimeter College, yeah. which is now Georgia, right? Right, exactly. Um, but I wasn't going into business. Um, I was there, and I was in a um, like uh, a phys ed class, and one of the uh, um, actually one of my classmates just got a certification, is um, a personal trainer certification. Uh -huh. I was actually working in a restaurant at the time. Uh, I was in this steakhouse in, in Buckhead, and they only work nights. And you would have to be there at like 3.30 in the afternoon, and uh, you don't get your first table to like 5.30. And, you know, it takes us 20 minutes to set up. Oh. And me and this other guy that work, I worked with, he was going to school as well. And we used to sit in our cars or sit out back of the restaurant for like an hour and a half before we get a table. <laughs> and we would just do our schoolwork and stuff. Yeah. And yeah. how it coincided is the guy at school that got a certification, he gave me the videotapes and the book. Okay. And, yeah, he had like NASM. That was his certification. And then I started doing that, and he and I started working out. I said, well, you can use me as a guinea pig. I got him a, a membership, and we started working out. Uh -huh. And I started following those tapes and, the, you know, and started getting into it. I was still going to school. I wasn't even thinking about uh, fitness at this point. I was just doing it. And uh, um, I really liked it, and then the, and I got results, and it was really interesting. And I just kept like I don't know, a thirst for knowledge. I just kept it, just kept feeding it, and then I and, you know I was really enjoying it. And then the guy at the uh, um, the restaurant, he was going for I think it was ISSA. He was going for his uh, certification. Yeah, so we started 
you know, I started using his book and, and quizzing him, and you know, so I'm getting even more information. And then it got to the point where I was like, man, I want to do this. Yeah, yeah, you could tell you're really passionate about it. Yeah, so by the time I got to Georgia State, as a matter of fact, um, I was already, I just had started that year, or, or that month, I should say, well, yeah. the month prior. Wow. Because I went in the summertime of, um, yeah, it was. It, I went in the summer uh, at, uh, uh, at Georgia State where I started in, in was it, 2001. That's right. And I got my certification that May, I think. Wow, wow. Yeah. Yeah, you know, you followed your passion, and, uh, you know, if something happened, like a flip of the switch, it was the route that you chose, and that was uh, your destiny uh, for your career path. That's amazing. And, um, you know, I think that was really uh, awesome that you gave some really good, insightful uh, personal testimonials that, um, you know, for yourself, like getting into shape and, um, you know, eating habits and working out and um, everything else that you talked about, too. I think, um, again, I took away a lot out of it as well. I, I really learned a lot uh, in the um, presentation uh, that you gave. So I thought that was tremendous. Just you nailed every point pretty much point by point. Yeah. Um, you know, I like the, uh, especially the question that they asked, which I still think about um, this day, <laughs> is they say, well, which, what kind of clients do you have now and what's uh -huh. your favorite? And, you know, and, uh, and I was just thinking, you know, it cycles. And I know you know this. I mean, like you gave it three months, you can get like, you may get morning clients, you may get, you know, senior clients, you may get, uh, you know, our age or, or even I've gotten college students, um, or you may get a lot of um, people that come out for rehab. Oh, yeah, right. Coming, mm -hmm. coming out surgery or something like that, you mm -hmm. know. And uh, and it always changes. They get a lot of males, they get a lot of females, whatever. Um, and I remember they're like, so which one do you like better? And I was like, I don't know. I, I, I got to say, I, I think the answer really is, because I've been thinking about it since. I'm like, yeah, which one do I like? Uh, I just went. Um, I like it all. I like the dynamics of it because it, it just keeps keeping me motivated. Do you find that with your? Yeah, yeah. Likewise, Roger. I, I, I definitely, you know, we have our... Uh different categories of favorite clients and um you know certainly the old joke is that you like the clients that of course uh, pay us on time and are on time to our workouts but uh, those are always a a, a check mark in the uh, good category that we look for but um yeah i mean i'm with you i mean for sure yeah definitely you know i i think that varies and it's a hard question to answer because i think it changes perpetually but um, you know, again, I, I think another thing that they had asked you too, uh, Roger, that I thought that was interesting. One of the students had asked you about your online training um, as well, and, and I think that's pretty neat. Uh, like you and I right now are on Skype. Uh, right. 10, 15 years ago, I don't think that this capability of being able to have a client in front of you and personal train them virtually like this would have been possible. So it's amazing what right. we can do now. I mean, that, that's tremendous. I'm not doing that, but. I'm fascinated by um, meeting you and knowing, um, you know, that, that you're doing it. I, I think that saves a lot of time. And you gave the example of the woman. I can't remember if she lived out in Stone Mountain or somewhere where she was coming yes. a far distance. And you just talked mm -hmm. about how much time and money both the client and the trainer saves in that uh, way. So right. it's a win-win pretty much, isn't it? Oh, yeah. 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 You know, another, um, another thing is also the Atlanta traffic. You know what I mean? And oh, my it, God. It, so, like. Even if you, you live close, it doesn't matter. Like if, if you know, it's a traffic jam, it's like, hey, why don't we just do this session? You know, boom, let's just get it right here. Here's what I had already set up for you. Let's just do this. Yeah. So. Oh, yeah. yeah. I, I think that's important. And, you know, the other thing that another student asked you, uh, Roger, was about the, uh, you know, they were fascinated about you uh, teaching dance. And I had me thinking, next time you come out to guest lecture, we actually have an open gym directly above the classroom we were at. We just got to go upstairs. We should okay. uh, make that part of the class that you can do half lecture and then the other half we should do like a dance fitness. I think they, they would just have a blast with that. We got to do that next time. That'll be fun. Oh, yeah, that would be really good. You know, I totally forgot going in there that you had told him that. Um, <laughs> and it was funny because they gave me some looks. Especially the guys were like, yeah, it's fitness. What is that? <laughs> that was cool. But, um, yes, uh, definitely. You know, I thought about afterwards, too. I'm like, on my phone, I actually had a, uh, a, a clip, a small clip. 
<laughs> of that weight of that that style that Cuban style that we do. Oh yeah. And it was actually at one of our socials like a couple of years ago. Uh-huh. And it's somebody calling and you just see it. It's you're in a, it's couples in a circle uh-huh. and you got to go to the next somebody calls Dame, which means give me and you go to the next. But it's like you can just see the fitness of it. Oh yeah. You know? Yeah. <laughs> and I don't know if it's maybe us that in the fitness industry we have that eye, I guess you know. And right. You see it. I, I can't imagine them like, not seeing it because it's just it's just so fast and uh, we actually um, our salsa group last night um, we went out to Athens cool. and uh, there's a couple of people out there a couple of the uh, um, in a different uh, salsa club out there that they come to our socials uh, once a once a month okay and our our owner uh, from the club he was DJing. And uh, there was about five of us. We went out there and we wore our shirts, you know. And, we, and it was the University of Athens. It was at uh, I think Casito uh, Mexican restaurant, something like that. Um, oh, okay, okay. You've been there? I I think I've heard of it. I've never been, but I think that sounds familiar, though. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's, oh my god, we had we had so much fun, and we worked. We worked. It was basically a workout. <laughs> I mean, there's no way you can't. I mean, and that's uh, another. That's what I told you, students. Is like, yeah, you know, me as a trainer, I found that when I go, like, I just doing something that I liked. Yes. You know, mm-hmm. it, it just also was the, the type of dance and that music and all that just really appealed to me. And um, but I also saw, hey, you can get fitness out of it. And then I started noticing when I would go on my recreation, my off time. You know, there are a lot of people would say, oh, you're a trainer? Oh, well, I, I wanted to get back into fitness. And that's why I chose to go back into dancing. And, you know, so it, it's a networking thing as well. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that, that's yeah. powerful. I mean, that's uh, that's awesome. It doesn't probably even feel like work when you're doing the dancing either. Oh, no. <laughs> that's what I like about it. And that's what I, I try to do that in fitness. Yeah. I try yeah. to. And like it's not well. You, of course, you're going to work and you're going to work hard, but let's have fun doing it and let's find a way, you know, to channel it so it's not just so arduous and mundane. And you know, let's have fun doing it. And and speaking of which, Roger, you know, you have a lot of fun uh, on your YouTube channel as well. You've been really hitting those videos too, uh, you know, uh, for the folks out there. And we'll plug that at the end. But um, you you know, there's a series of different workouts on your YouTube channel that people can actually see. And uh, I like the, the music and the, the background and the aesthetics and, and the way that you design. You have different themes, it looks like. Like one of them was a hit uh, uh, exercise. Another one was mm-hmm. this TRX, uh, uh, you know, and then you got kettlebell. So um, how did you come up with the design of uh, different kinds of workouts? And, and do you have a favorite out of all of them too? Yes, um well, how I came up with it, um, basically it was me and my client. He's a good friend of mine. He's, a, he's the camera guy. Oh, cool. Okay. And, we, and, and he's a client. And what I, how I came up with it is I wanted to, whatever I'm putting on YouTube is what I want to give to my clients. Okay. Okay. All right. And so I'm trying to get um, an audience to see that there, this, is, this is the type of trainer I am, but these are the type of workouts and let's. Here's us doing it. Um, yeah. Well, it's mainly me doing it right now, but I also get it to where I start getting clients in it as well. Oh yeah, yeah. Definitely. And um, and start putting out. I like. I'm a big fan of the uh, the uh, suspension training. Uh, well, I yeah. like those workouts. Yeah, those are great. I find it. Yeah, those are my favorite. I'm still trying to figure out. we you know. Um, how to put all that content out there and what, what, you know, basically it's branding now. So we got to do that on YouTube. So, um, it's, it's kind of a, it's a challenge. It's fun though. But I, um, yeah, that's what I'm mainly trying to do is it, I'm trying to get it to where I'm making videos to like, Hey, if one of my clients say we can't even Skype or, or FaceTime or whatever, right? Yeah. Let's do that workout. Like actually I have a, um, a model actress client and, uh, and she's like, hey, I just got picked up for the whole month. I won't be back until May. And I said, all right, well, while you're on the set, do the um, – and I sent her the work I wanted her to do. Oh, cool. Okay. Yeah. So it was like the, – it was the body weight one too. So um, cause it, so I mixed it up as well. So we'll have suspension trail, we'll have kettlebell. There's just body weight ones. 
and I tried to mix it up, um, you know, like get trained maybe to body style or um, just trying to get anything that can get uh, basically with the no excuse theme. You know, and it's like, all right, I don't feel like doing I'm actually going coming up with one for um, my senior clients. And I also have a um, woman that has um, – I want to get it so I can do like um, low impact exercises. So like they could just do it on their couch. Yeah. Yeah. Good idea. Yeah. Very, yeah. very good idea. I like that. Anybody that has any, with any issues or anything, their movement and stuff, boom, put that out there so they can do it. So, so like, cause I was actually at a, um, one of my clients was a going away party and, uh, and there was a, uh, the wife was like graduated from Georgia Tech, and uh, there's all these Georgia Tech students. And man, let me tell you something. <laughs> <laughs> They're all like, "Yeah, I'm um, I'm like a PhD in uh, bioengineering, medical, blah blah blah." <laughs> <laughs> They're like, "What do you do?" Oh, uh, I'm a personal trainer. <laughs> <laughs> but it was the awesomest woman. I mean, she's like, "Hey, so you're a personal trainer? Do you have uh, uh, videos on YouTube? Can you make one?" For my boyfriend or husband or whatever, she's like that. That like for somebody who never worked out ever in their life, <laughs> like, what's that on light on? <laughs> so I want to want to put those out. Like not only um, especially for the senior clients, have it to where they just sit in a chair. It's like all right, all right, you don't feel like getting up, you don't have to. Look, let's do some good exercise. Just get the movement going, you know. And then you can do it into like, we'll do a Tabata. You set the Tabata program. All right, we'll do it 20 seconds. All right, rest. And then just, it's just sitting down and just moving. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. um, I wanna, I'm going to, eventually, I'm going to, uh, I want to, in the next couple of weeks, I want to come up with that. That's excellent. Uh, you know, so many programs. And, you know, Roger, I also uh, ran into one of your other clients uh, at the Family Life Center. Actually, today at Second Ponce, uh, Sally, she said to say hello. I was yeah. telling her I was going to interview you, so if she's watching today, uh, we got to give her a shout-out. Yeah. And um, I guess that reverts back to the dance that you do with her as well, too, because I saw you have her in there and moving around and dancing and everything, too, so that was good. Yeah. Well, Sally is very active. She actually mm -hmm. does a lot of the Zumba classes, and uh, she takes the um, – uh, what do you call it? Um, she comes out to our that dance club that we we go to. Yeah. And what she does, she's like, hey, I just want you to um, show me explain all the moves or that we're learning at this club. So I'm basically just doing straight. Um, she gets her fitness in already. Yeah. Yeah. And I I do the the just the dance exclusively with her. So I don't put them both together. I just do the dance, and that's a lot of fun though. Oh yeah. Yeah, so certainly. working out, but we're having fun, and you know, so she's getting, uh, she's definitely getting her fitness in, and uh, she's, you know, helps um, helps get those moves down because some of them can be complicated, but they're a lot of fun once you get them done. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, and you know, uh, the the other thing about the second ponce, uh, Jim Roger, you know, uh, you've probably seen it, I've seen it. Uh, they're usually not that busy. That's kind of a uh, quiet, um, low activity gym. You don't see many people coming in there, and I've certainly seen it this season where they've just been a ghost town. It's just been dead. But um, talking about gyms for a second, because you have your big box office gyms like LA Fitness, Lifetime Fitness, and such. As a smaller gym, um, we're, we're finding that it's harder for some of these to survive. I guess in the economy with today and you're the one that told me I just didn't even know I learned about the two gyms that had uh, been you know closing down recently uh, one being Vinings uh, Thrive Beyond Fitness and the other one right across the street where I live in Smyrna literally over at the downtown Smyrna Market Village Ozone Fitness I just went by there the other day by the way Roger was going to tell you I looked in there it was completely empty I was going to ask you just out of curiosity do you know like uh, what happened I guess you know and then also I guess we could talk about the um, risk that some take, you know, with fitness studios and fitness centers. Yeah, well, um, I think he, uh, the owner of the Ozone, went, he's actually around the corner now. Um, I, part of it, I think, is, and this is uh, to my take on it. Uh, yeah. From what I, I think it has to do with uh, the rent of the studio. Gotcha. Okay. And, and you have a lot of... Um, and those locations, yeah, you know, you pay for location and all, but also, like, 
overhead takes a lot to run a studio. Oh, I my mean, God. I mean, yeah. I'm, I'm, yeah. Yeah. So, you know, it, it's uh, – you couple that with you have a lot more – you a lot more fitness places, you know, popping up fly-by-night places, you know. And just, oh, yeah. The next phase is this and that. You know, people are trying it. And, you know, that, that, that works, too. I mean, because, again, you got to stimulate people. I mean, people have to – sometimes it may take you – hey, they may go to work every day and pass by this gym and see it. And it's like, yeah, nah, nah. But, <laughs> but maybe, like, a co-worker said, hey, I'm starting to go over to this uh, this MMA gym or whatever, you know. Uh-huh. Um, right. I'm, or I'm going to Planet Fitness, and I, I really like this class. Why don't you come join? And that may be what it takes to get them in. So, like mm. all the variety of, of, of locations and, and studios around, you know, is kind of it's whatever can stimulate somebody. It's, sometimes just ads won't work. Sometimes it's actual just getting out of that habit. Yeah, you know, in Atlanta here, we're seeing it. It's just oversaturated. You have CrossFit. You have Workout Anytime, Anytime Fitness, F45. You've got all these gyms popping up everywhere, like Orange Theory. My God, like uh, they're taking um, you know name. And I saw Crunch Fitness is back too. I didn't even know that they had returned, but I saw several what? Crunch uh, Crunch Fitness is open. Uh, so it's just amazing. You go down the street anywhere uh, where we're at, and it looks like there's a gym at every single corner. Very, very highly competitive, it looks like. So I wonder how these gyms, uh, you know, again, you think about your real big commercial ones like LA Fitness and Lifetime Fitness and YMCA or JCC. Um, you know, it's certainly, uh, and even again, Second Ponce uh, Family Life Center, uh, back to that one. You know, some of these fitness centers, it's 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 a risk for sure. And so, in our industry, I guess we find that uh, for us, um, it's all about the true entrepreneur spirit of having many buckets and many options to go with, as you and I both do. I guess. Do you find that as well? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Oh, definitely. I mean, it's you know, especially the entrepreneur. I mean, you got to be a shark. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Even now, more than ever, definitely. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You know, again, I, I'm not trying to single out or pick on a gym, but there was one in uh, Marietta. I drive by um, on Powers Ferry. They had a big banner on the outside. I won't name the gym. Uh, I don't want to, uh, you know, uh, embarrass them, but $10 per personal training session. And when I saw that, I just thought, oh, my God, like, uh, that's a call for desperation. Like, if, if someone's trying to charge 10 bucks for a personal training session to get someone in that door, <laughs> something's a big problem. And uh, I don't know. That scares me, you know, as, as a, a businessman thinking that, you know, the competitors will try to undercut us. But then, again, I guess it goes back to, like, what I try to encourage. I'm sure you do the same is try to instill value into your clients saying, you know, you get what you pay for. So if you're paying 10 bucks for a personal training session, you know, you're probably getting $10 worth of service, I guess. Yeah, well, it could be. It also could be a marketing ploy. Um, I forget the exact term for it, but it's like, you know, training one week for $1. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's, just, it's just to get you to say, well, what is that all about? And then you find out, okay, well, it's spread out over this. Uh-huh. And, you know, you have, you, have to, you have to sign up for a month. But, you know, you'll get, you know, whatever sessions in this, it'll come out to a dollar for a week, one week. It, you know. There's a name for it. It's called bait and switch, maybe. I don't know. One of those. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. But, um, that kind of, you know, you see that a lot. And yeah. It, but it, that is just to go with what you said earlier. It's, it's so saturated. you got to get people to um, – and the attention spans, too, if you think about it. I mean – you, you just go. We do the same things, going the same routes, and all of a sudden, all of a sudden, it, it may take something like that to go. Hmm, well, let me give it a shot or something. <laughs> <laughs> so it's all it's all in the advertising, the marketing. So it, it could, um, but you have to do it. They, some of them have to do it like that just so they can, you know, get um, get noticed or get some attention. Yeah. Um, you know, yeah. and, and Roger, another question I have for you, too, because I get asked this a lot. I know you do also. You know, um, my clients always ask, well, when do you work out or where do you work out? And, uh, you know, it, it uh, with our schedules, with our craziness, you know, being in a different gym or location. But I guess that's my question to you. Like, uh, when do you get your workout in and do you have a preference of where you work out at? Um, I do it like I usually um – how I set it up is I do I try to set it up as I'm um, 
like usually on on the weekend, usually on Sunday when I'm doing the schedule for the week. Okay. I find out where I'm going to be because, but mainly I, I do uh, at the ball line. I do in home training, and I um I used to have a few studios in a workout. And if I'm like, all right, well, on Tuesday and Thursday nights, I'm going to be at this studio. Uh-huh. I'm going to use this gym. Like when, when I was over at Ozone, I really liked that. How um me too. How he. Well, did you, have you been in there? Oh, beautiful. I used to be a member, uh, actually. Uh, yeah, I love yeah. that gym. I, I thought it was an excellent, wonderful gym, the setup of it. They had everything you needed. And it, it did. They had a lot of things in there, but I'll tell you that Oral, the, the owner, man, he really, I like that he had functional equipment in there, too. Yeah, yeah, and definitely. He some of that. Like, he had a PVC pipe with a cat, and they put water in it. Mm-hmm. And, mm-hmm. you know, just doing like a bicep curl, and it's like really light, but then that water moves and you really got to balance, you know? And it, oh, yeah. And, uh, so at least it, when I had classes over there like on the, at certain nights, I'm like, all right, well, I'm going to do my workout uh, beforehand or I'll do it right after the class, whatever, you yeah. know, wh- whatever uh, conducive to my schedule. Um, so I did it um, based on in between the uh, my clients and or my schedule is okay. when I do it. Okay. And I, okay. I didn't really have a preference as far as like always going to that one, but I knew that if, or if um, on these nights I'm going to be working out because I worked out like the three nights a week that I was going to work out, right? Uh-huh, right. Well, one of them I want to get like a balanced, functional type of workout in so I don't have to worry about weights or straps or any of that. I'll just use that. Gotcha. And I'll, um, and I'll do a workout there. So it actually helped change it up. So Yeah, it makes variety. You know, yeah. Oh, that's great. And sometimes if I had a Skype session or something like that in between, um, and a lot of times when, uh, I don't know if you, you get this as well. I'm, I'm sure you do. Um, I like to know when you're scheduling or when you, when you write out the program you're going to have for each client, mm-hmm. you know, and different, like my senior clients, I'm not going to have them do a lot of jumping or, or any of the, you know, <laughs> power moves. I, uh, I have to do a little, a little bit more in, low impact, but, um, when you're putting together a schedule, I like to do the workouts as well. Oh, yeah, 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 certainly. Mm-hmm. For, it seems like it's not, well, that's not really that much. But when you actually do it, it's like, whoa, yeah, I'm going to have to cut out some of this. Uh, maybe yeah. not this many steps. Maybe I'll cut it if you don't time, you know, let me, let me do it like this. Yeah. Or let me switch this order up or something like that. So I, I also work out that way as well by um, when I'm doing the uh, programs for the workouts. Oh, good way to do it. Yeah, definitely, Roger. And uh, out of curiosity, what uh, do you do? You speak with Oral or Pam, uh, respectively, like what their next moves are. I mean, you said so. So the Ozone Oral uh, is setting up. You said uh, very close to the previous location. Is that right? Yes, it's actually. I don't know the name of it, okay. um, but you know where the uh, Windy Hill and that Village Way. Right. Yes. Got- Station and there's like a little a shop. Uh, um, well, he's in there. I'm pretty sure. I haven't seen it yet, though. I think I know where you're talking about. Yeah. Okay. Good. Good. I'm, I'm glad uh, they're they're uh, moving. And what about uh, the folks over at Thrive Beyond? Uh, what's their next move? Um, well, some of the uh, one of the um, Boga instructors, I think Zach, was he's he's actually getting ready to um, put up a place, a studio, and I think it's it's sometime in the summer. Good. Okay. You mentioned lease so, costs. I got to imagine that over there in the Vinings must have been real prime real estate. I mean, very expensive, oh, I'm sure. Yeah. yeah. And then, yeah. of course, in Buckhead, too, where I'm at, I mean, oh, my God. Like, it's a trade off. Like, uh, everyone says location, location, location. But then again, if you want the best location, you're going to pay a top dollar. So it is definitely a, a trade off. Uh, and as you said, you got to be a shark. You got to be competitive and, um, you know, be smart like, like you're doing. Work smartly. Uh, I'm impressed, Roger. And um, like I said, I, I can't wait to have you back out and uh, do another guest lecture at Georgia State. And, um, you know, I, I can't believe uh, we're already 30 minutes in here, and uh, the time's just flown by so quickly with you here today. I, it always does whenever I talk with you. Um, before we let you go, though, I promise I'd have you out of here by 5. Can we please get your contact information uh, for the folks? Let's plug your contact info and any social media and your YouTube page as well, please. Absolutely. Uh, for YouTube, it's Roger Scott Fitness. Uh, my website's rogerscottfitness.com. And uh, 
also have the uh, yeah you could definitely um, the Roger Scott Fitness on the, in the you put that in the search in the YouTube and that's coming up a little bit more uh, in the uh, in the search. Excellent. <laughs> no, very good, Roger. That's excellent. I, I, Roger Scott too. Uh, oh, <laughs> yeah. That in <laughs> and they could get don't your... go to the beer that's the same one. <laughs> <laughs> And also, um, they could send you an email there and get your contact information directly. But I was going to say, Roger, um, earlier today, uh, be on the lookout. There's an email that one of the students, uh, Tashina, wrote a, a great raving review and uh, copied me on the email. Check that out when you get a chance. Uh, it was very uh, – I saw that good. right before. Up and Wow, good. So, wow. <laughs> that was cool. Wasn't that cool? That was good. I was really happy about that. Yeah, that was yeah. excellent. So. Good for her. I yeah. like what she said. Also, I'm glad she had, I saw your response to the she, she got the extra bonus points for her exam and all that. Good for her. Yeah, Congratulations. yeah. She was the one that I don't know if you remember. She stayed after. Or she's the one that came and got you. Uh, if, remember the. Yeah. Um, I, I actually, you don't know, but um, that was the thing. Right before you came in, I said, I need a volunteer. Nobody ever raises their hands. I said, I need a volunteer, please. And Tashina raised her hand. I said, Tashina, you just earned yourself 10 extra bonus points. Go get Roger, please. And everybody else was like, that was the bonus. I would have done it. I would have done it. I was like, you're too late. You know, you got to be you got to be a shark, like you said earlier. So very well yeah. said, Roger. Yeah. But uh, yeah. Listen, uh, thank you so much for your time and, uh, you know, uh, for coming out and doing this. I really appreciate it. We'll be in touch soon on coming out to guest lecture. And uh, keep doing an awesome job, Roger. You're, you're the man. And uh, we'll also have uh, your contact information on the screen here for the folks watching momentarily. So, um, Roger, have yeah. a great rest of your day and, uh, and enjoy your weekend, too. Hey, you too. Thanks, Karen. I really appreciate being on the program. I hope to see you guys again. Likewise. Thank you, sir. All right, here comes Roger's contact info right now, folks.